hey guys, hey, it's Do, I do dots and designs. Finally, I know it's been a long time since I've been on with you guys with a live. I've just been really busy. And if you're just coming on, say hey and laugh at me because I'm a goober and don't know how to work Facebook live. Obviously, they've changed a few things since I've been on. I bet it's probably been a month since I did a Facebook live, seriously. So anyway, say hello and come on in. Um, Again, my name is Du, and I'm the owner of Du Dots and Designs. I'm a decorative furniture painter, and I love to create beautiful things. And I've got a new paint that I'm trying out today. Um, it's it's a photosynthesis paint. I think I'm saying that right. I hope I am. It's called Wise Owl, and it's one of those paints that you can blend. And if you've been watching any of the tutorials and lives, uh, the turquoise iris is one that actually blends her paints too. Hey Joyce, I see Joyce on. Hey sweetie. Hey Judy, Judy's on too. Anyway, um, this is a different paint than that. It, I'm not sure if it's a clay based or not, um, but it's supposed to be blendable. And I have used the DIY paints and I love those too. But I don't, I like all paints. I like to experiment. And you should know me by now, I'm not one to follow the rules. I actually want to do it my way, so I want to blend and mix things together. So. Uh, come on today, and um, if you see back over here in the corner, you see this piece that looks like a long something something. Well, if you turn it sideways, it's a pie safe, and it's a beautiful old pie, pie safe. These are the metal tins on the sides. It's got little holes in it. Well, I'm thinking of doing that one with this paint and doing kind of a crazy finish on it. Before I tried it out, I want it, or before I did it, I want to try it out on... Uh, an old piece of something just to kind of play with it. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm going to go ahead and let me get my camera down here. If it didn't put a cat face on me again, guys. It's crazy, huh? Okay. All right. So let me sit down here and get my spot. I think I've got all my supplies out here and you still can't see me. So hold on. Y'all going to have to laugh at me today because I'm all over the place. But I'm so super excited to be here, back in the studio, to actually paint and do what I love. I've got a new job starting tomorrow, so I'm not going to be here. So I'm going to take today and do some creating and doing stuff in here. And the camera's a little ways away from me. I see Janet on. Hey, Janet, how are you? Oh, Janet. Oh, good, good. You said Wise Owl chalk synthesis paint, not photosynthesis. Did I say photo? I'm such a goober. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's just paint to me. <laughs> I just love paint. It doesn't matter. So anyway... Um, I'm going to get started. Now, I have a couple of different colors that I'm going to try out. What I have for the base is this dark blue, and this actually is a DIY paint. It's not the Wise Owl, but I don't have any dark paint, and I want the base of this old vase painted dark. So that's what I'm going to do first. So I'm going to go ahead. I've already started. It's just a big clay pot. It's a pot that I got. Um, I bought a, uh, a storage unit of furniture. Uh, a couple of months back and I had a big sale uh, last weekend and sold most of the furniture. Kept a few pieces like the Paisé, but I had this piece and I thought, you know, this would be good to play with. So I'm going to paint this and I'm just going to kind of randomly put this paint on. Not any, not in any form or fashion, I'm just going to kind of paint it on. I want the base of this to be dark, and then I'm going to put some lighter colors on top. And see what we can come up with and create. I love blending the paints. It gives it more of an artistic look. And I've been doing a little more of that with my furniture. Not all furniture, because, you know, I do paint for the public, and not everybody wants... An artistic piece of furniture but I love it I think it's pretty and it's it's the creative side in me that wants to um, play a little with the paint so we're gonna do that so I think so this is just gonna be I'm gonna use this piece probably in some of my staging of my photos I do a lot of photography after I, I do my pieces so this will just be a great piece that I can use in my home decor or just in staging. Just a big old heavy piece. Okay. 
And I'm just going to put one coat on, and I'm not using any fancy brush. I'm just using the chip brush. Just kind of putting it on there random. I don't want it to be perfect. I just want it to kind of all be on there. And I only had a little bit of this blue left. I just have enough, just enough, I think, to finish this pot. I'm loving this, this deep, rich blue, pretty color. And it's a great base piece, uh, base paint, if you're going to be putting some lighter colors on top of there. Um, remember the rules when you're doing your painting is that you have a darker piece, the dark actually goes behind, and when you put the lighter on top of it, that's going to give you that depth perception. But then again, there's no rules. You know, you do what you want, do what you like. It's just kind of what I do. Okay, I think I got all this covered. I'm not used to having an audience when I paint, so bear with me. And I normally don't paint this fast, but you can see how quick and easy this is to go on too. And if I missed a spot, that's okay, because after I apply some of the other colors, we're going to go back with some water and we're going to reactivate the paint and we're going to kind of let it drip and some of it's going to kind of show through to the clay underneath, which would, you could do that with furniture as well. So if you wanted the wood to show through, you can do that as well. So, okay, I think I got all that. Well, let me show you a couple of colors. This was, you can see that's the dark blue and I've got another color. Let me show you. This is called Mermaid Kiss. Look at that beautiful color. Can you see that? Isn't that nice? Hi, Jenny. How are you? I see you. Uh, and uh, E-N-I-K-O. I'm sorry I can't pronounce your name, but hi. I'm glad you're here, too. But isn't this yummy, guys? Look how pretty this is. It's like a vibrant, vibrant blue. So I think what I'll do... Um, Go play because I, I don't know what it's going to turn out like. We're just going to kind of play with it and see. Um, what I'd like to recreate is maybe to paint the top part and then kind of let everything kind of blend in. I'd like to have a little lighter on top and then as it goes darker. I don't know. We're just going to play with it and see. I have another color too. Let me show you this color as well. This one's called Coral Reef. And how pretty is that? Can you see that? That's beautiful too. That's a beautiful coral color. One of my favorites. My front door is actually painted coral and I love it. So, But I think what I'm going to do is start, I'm going to start with a mermaid kiss and I'm going to kind of go around and we're going to play with this and see what happens. Like I said, I don't know guys, I've never painted this before so we're just going to kind of do it together and see what happens. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Like I said, I'm not using any fancy brushes. I'm just using an old chip brush. Let's see. Let's put some here. I'm just going to kind of accent a little bit. Let me see what happens. I'm excited. Excited to be out here and painting again. Gosh, it's been so long since I've been in the studio. I've had a lot of customers and clients that have been going to their home and painting, and I love that, but man, I miss this place. This is my fun, creative place. Alright, so. I'm thinking. Any comments? I'm sorry, guys. I don't know if you see. Hey, Danielle's on. Hey, Danielle, how are you? I haven't seen you forever, girl. Okay. All right. I think. Okay. Let us see. Let me just put a little around here. I think I'm going to put a little around here, too. Like I said, I'm just going to kind of wing this and see. What happens? The magic happens when you start adding water to your project. 
this doesn't look so great right now, but you can see a big difference. When we start the blending. And actually, I probably should have put a trash bag underneath here, and I didn't. So I'm probably going to have water everywhere. But that's okay. Thing cleaned up. I always think about what I need to do after I've already started something, so. Okay. All right. Well, let's get busy. Okay, I've got a water bottle, just a little squirt bottle that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to just start spraying randomly where the blue is, and we're going to let it run. Let me see. Check my Mr. Mike shirts. Yeah, that's good. And I like to play with my fingers. It's kind of what I like to do. Ooh, that's pretty. That's starting to run and look really cool. Can you see that, guys? So the more water you put, the more it's going to run and it's going to blend. What you think, guys? Can you see that? Isn't that cool? This is so freaking fun, y'all. This is not like painting furniture. This is like this is like finger painting or something. It is amazing. Okay. I'm going to do a little more and then I'm going to go back in. Like I said, you can play with this and play with it, you know, for a long time and get it the way you want it. I'm not going to do a whole lot with it. I'm just going to do a little color, let it run, and then I'm going to go back with the coral. And I'm going to add some highlights in there. Quit talking because I'm just mesmerized by the paint and how it's going on and it's looking so cool. And the pot itself has a little bit of texture to it, so it's not super smooth. So it's picking up on the crevices and the cracks, and it's actually making like little spider veins if you can see it up close. Very, very cool. Love, love, love. This is so much fun. Okay. I'm going to change my gloves out because I am like super, super wet. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to wipe my gloves. Y'all, you do this too, you lose your stuff all the time, all the time. I see them, that's fine. Okay, all right. The gloves, this is really cool. Okay. Let me turn this around so you can see both sides. Both sides are going to look a little different. That's 
cool. This actually has a hole in the base, which I really like. It kind of plays up to the character of it. Okay, all right, now we've got the coral. Let's play with some coral. Let's see what we can do with coral. I'm gonna use, I think I'm gonna use one of my little artist brushes and we're gonna kind of play with that. That way I can put it in places that I want it. Uh, let's see, maybe I'll just put a little up here. Maybe I need to use a bigger brush. I think I might. Yeah. The little brush was a good idea, but no, not so much. I need a little more. So I'm just kind of dabbing it on, and then I'm going to spray it and see what happens there too. And I actually have a fourth color that I'll probably be adding in. Um, it's kind of a yellow. I think will be really pretty complimentary color to this. And even if some of it drips on there, that's fine. I think that just adds to the character of it. Just kind of throw some on there. Who knows? Okay. All right, back to my water. I'm going to blend a little more. Let's put a little more on here. Get some color going, some more runs. Run out of water here. Thing, guys. Is that like cool or what? This is neat. This is so neat. There's so many color variations that you could do with this. Um, I'm probably going to let this dry a little more because it's super saturated with water right now. And then I may come back and I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to it in some certain areas. Uh, maybe like underneath the handles here. Just to kind of give it a little more dimension. And I'm going to let it dry. Um, it's super cool the way it looks. That's it, guys. That's, that's the beauty of this paint, and that's the fun of it, is that you can reactivate it with water. There's many things you could do to actually make it even cooler. You could use, um, you can use brushes. I know they've used knives. I mean, you could be really creative. I mean, I could get my toothbrush out here and do all kinds of, like, paint and maybe flick it and make little dots all over it and let that run. There's just so much that you can do with this paint, so it's really cool. And as it dries, it will darken again, so you'll see that. But um, I'll come back later on after it's finished and dried, and I'll give you a close-up picture so you can kind of see more of the details than what I'm seeing. Actually, let me, uh, let me just take this down and show you. Let me get up here a little closer so you can actually see what I'm seeing. Can you see all the little runs, all of the details that are actually in the pot already? So that's very cool. Okay hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is part two of the clay-based paint that we blended. If you can see, this is all dried now and you can see all the beautiful finish. 
what I did was I speed up the drying process. I went ahead and took my uh, heat gun and I dried it really quickly because so, it has layers of paint on it and you can kind of see how it's all kind of dripped down the side and it's really pretty. And you can actually see the clay wood, or excuse me, the you can see the clay that kind of looks like wood that's coming through it because this was a brown vase before um, and it's, it just looks really pretty. So it's complete and you need to seal it. So what I'm gonna do is, I use this for a lot of my projects and it's something you can purchase you know, uh, at the hardware store or, the, or um, any uh, Walmart usually carries at those kind of places. But it's actually Men Wax and it's a uh, finishing wax and it works really good on chalky base paints or any kind of clay base paints as a sealer. I, I sometimes use it on furniture, but it just really depends. But on this, it's fine and I'm gonna seal it. So what I'm gonna do is take this and I'm gonna rub it all over the surface until it's completely covered I'm going to let it dry, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to buff it. And you'll see it'll get a rich, dark, dark color. You can kind of see how I'm putting it on. See the color changes as it goes on? It's going to enrich the colors and make them darker. So that's really, really pretty finish. So 